Hey everyone, this is Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and I hope you enjoyed that little um, thing I made at the beginning. That's what we're going to be creating today. Um, I recently got the Cinema 4D R12 demo, so um, I really like it. It has really advanced dynamics now. Um, stuff that it has like um, advanced collisions and uh, soft body especially. Stuff that I wanted to do but I couldn't do in 11.5. So I got 12, and uh, we're able to do that. There's a lot we can do, but today I'm just going to show you some uh, the fracture that I made, and um, because that's really all I've done with it so far, and then I'll go into soft body in a later video. This is also video 199, so woohoo, almost uh, to 200, and uh, I've been filming for 200, but uh, yeah, it'll be a while before that comes out. So anyways, this is a still of what our um, fracture is going to look like. I'll go ahead and play it again. Uh, you know, there we go. So what we're going to do is make a new file here. And um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a plane, uh, of course, because if we don't have a plane, the pieces of our fractured wall or whatever you want it to be will just fall through the floor. Um, so for the plane, uh, simply we're going to go to... We're going to go to our dynamics tag, add a dynamics body, and turn the dynamics off um, just because we just want the plane to be acting like a floor and uh, nothing's really happening to it so we don't really need to have any um, actions that are going to collide with it and fall through. We don't want it to fall through the floor so yeah, we'll leave it at that. The next thing we're going to do is create our cube and uh, I'm going to resize this make it look more wallish so let's move that up how we look it okay all right that should be good so we have our wall move it up a little bit and uh, i'm going to use throusy to uh, break this wall it's a free plugin and it just breaks stuff and it's really really good for a free plugin and even if you had to pay for it it'd be good so go to plugins, Throusy R12, Throusy, and we'll break it into like, I don't know, 28 pieces. Hit break now. Da 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 da. It'll go ahead and break it for you. And there you go. So by default, it adds a, a dynamics body tag, which is pretty nice. So if we play it. Uh, nothing happens because what we need to do is we need to go to the uh, uh, tag and we need to go to the collision tag and add the I individual elements, turn them on all and make sure it's on apply tag to children and then we'll see that it'll fall over. Um, but we don't want it to just fall over, we want something to hit it and then it falls over. So to do that if we go to our dynamics um, tab here the trigger, if we turn the trigger to on collision, then um, when something hits it, obviously it'll fall apart. Um, so that's where the sphere comes in. If we go ahead and make a sphere, uh, move it out here a little bit, let's make it a little smaller. Like that, there we go. And again, add a dynamics body tag to it. Um, for this one, we can leave the trigger on immediately, just when the frame start, you know, the ball goes ahead and hits the wall. Very simple. Um, however, uh, if we go ahead and play that, the ball just falls to the ground. We don't want that. We want the ball to hit the uh, target over here. So to do that, uh, we mess with our custom initial velocity. So over here, if we go ahead and check that, we can choose um, which direction the ball is going to go. So in this case, the ball needs to move along the z-axis. Turn the z-axis way up, see if that's enough. Could be enough, could be enough, but um, I'm sure you get the point by now. Um, let's move the y up a bit. Okay, that's pretty good. I also want the ball to be a little smaller. Smaller. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it. It's very simple again. Um, really fun to do, and um, the render that I did actually took two hours to render that out, so you should should like for that. 
is a pretty nice global illumination thing. But uh, I'm sure you get the point here. Um, that's it, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.